So he was talking earlier um, about Israel, and I always talk about Israel and how important it is to remember to pray for Israel. So um, it just seems like every day they're just, I couldn't imagine living there. (laughs) I've always wanted to go there. Nana and Paul have got to go. Several people I know have got to go. Monica has her friend there. I've been meaning to ask about her. She has not heard from her. Um, I need to get her number so we can reach out to her. Um, So we need to be praying for Israel because um, that's a calling that's on our lives as Gentiles, like we talk about here all the time. Um, But for those people that have to live there, I mean, some of them say they're used to it, but you can't get used to seeing a kid blown up, you know, there's no way. And um, I get that they get used to the sirens and they go in the, you know, go hide or, you know. But so we really, really need to pray for them that God will give those leaders wisdom and discernment. And so I'm just going to say a quick prayer for Israel. But you just remember to do that every time you hear about them on the news. Just stop what you're doing and say a prayer for uh, the leadership and for the people. So, Lord, we lift... um, Israel up to you, Lord. We lift all those family members that lost those kids recently. Oh, Lord, I just can't imagine being in that situation and seeing that, experiencing that, and that being my child. So, Lord, I ask that you send them angels right now, Lord, as we're praying to minister to their body, spirit, souls, and minds, Lord. I ask, Father God, that you comfort them the only way that can come from you, Yeshua, no words, but only you, Yeshua, would touch them in the day and in the night, those parents, um, those siblings that lost their brothers or sisters. Um, Lord, you're the one that repays evil. Um, We don't wish that anyone should perish, but everyone should have eternal life. But, Lord, if people are not willing to turn from their wicked ways from this destructive ideology just this it's a satanic it they they're ruled by satan their minds and spirits are ruled and so lord if you've came to them in dreams and visions and they refuse to receive you as their lord and savior lord we just ask that you remove them however you need to do that lord we're not uh well i don't wish anything bad on anybody even people that are evil lord but father god sometimes just like in old times In the Old Testament and New Testament, you just removed them when you gave them time and chance to turn from their wicked ways, and they refused to. And so, Lord, we're asking, Father God, for you, your word says vengeance is mine. And so we're asking, Father God, for you to do what needs to be done. Um, Lord, I ask that you give Netanyahu and all the cabinet members, IDF soldiers, sergeants, wisdom and discernment on these next steps on what to do and what not to do lord and so lord we're just asking that you send in people to minister to those people that just went through all that horrific just nasty trauma and lord um for what just recently happened at the olympics lord i ask for a conviction that you will send um your spirit, Father God, to convict all those people that were a part of those Olympic um, games and just the start of that and the evil that was behind that, the perversion, the lies, the schemes, the agenda, the mockery of you, Lord, we are so, 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 so sorry. We ask for your forgiveness here in the states where we have allowed this evil to creep in and out of fear. We've had more fear of man and more fear of our identity than fear of you and so we ask for your forgiveness lord we ask that you give us strength and courage in these days to stand up against the evil and not cave to it lord we will not cave to the woke agenda father god but we will only submit to you yeshua so we're asking for your bravery and strength to stand up 
um, and say something when we need to say something, pray when we need to pray, Lord, and just hand stuff over back over to you, Lord, out of fear when we start trying to control things. But help us to not be afraid, Lord, to speak out in these days and times, Lord. We're nothing without you, Yeshua. It's all in your name. Amen.